I was privileged during my NFL career to play on two teams that reached the Super Bowl. In 1991, I was on Bill Parcell's New York Giants team that beat the Buffalo Bills. That game is remembered as it was on the eve of the start of the first goal four and Whitney Houston sang the national anthem. I was on the losing side of the second Super Bowl I played in, in 1997, as my New England Patriots lost to Brett Favre and the Packers. As a kid growing up in New Jersey, uh, there were two constants in my life, uh, my mother and football. My mom was, was very religious, but more importantly, she had a deep relationship with Jesus Christ. But she had her own cross to bear. My father suffered from alcoholism, and I grew up in, a, in an unsettled household. My mom also suffered from physical disabilities. Uh, by the time I was in eighth grade, she was confined to a wheelchair. But she was always such a huge support to me and my success on the football field. Throughout my high school career in New Jersey and my collegiate career at the University of Iowa, I played on a number of championship teams and had a lot of personal awards. You know, it always seemed that I was in search of others' acceptance, money, or success. In 1989, uh, after an all Big Ten career, my NFL dream really came true. I was drafted by the New York Giants, and I was heading back home. One of the big rewards playing pro football was I was able to give back to my mother, the woman that meant so much to me. I can remember back the start of my NFL career for me and my wife. It was it was really exciting. We were so young, we were starting our family, and we had our whole future in front of us. But also, the NFL was very stressful. There was a lot of pressure playing in the game. And only my second year of my NFL career actually was the highlight of my career. We won a world championship in Super Bowl 25. The most memorable part of that game actually was my mother was sitting in the end zone. And if you can remember, that game went down on the final seconds, and there she sat, I'll never forget, she was in her wheelchair as Scott Norwood lined up to kick a final field goal to win the game for the Buffalo Bills. You know, Roberta sat there praying underneath the exact goal post where he lined up to kick that field goal and it went wide right. I'll never forget running down to that end zone to embrace my mom. We were just in celebration. We were hugging, we were laughing, we were crying. After that Super Bowl, I went on with my career. I was very blessed to sign a lucrative contract with the New England Patriots. And actually the last game I played in was in a Super Bowl, Super Bowl 31. And within a blink of an eye, my NFL career was over. Upon retiring from the NFL, I became an entrepreneur. I started a retail store. It was a new chapter in my life, a new career. I was, I was very excited. But when you're a sole proprietor, you get very self-absorbed, just like I was absorbed in football, I became that way in my business. Through the struggles, the ups and downs of business, at times the heavy drinking, it takes a toll on a family. And I was kind of heading down the same path my father was. At this point, I just felt that I really, uh, I needed a change in my life.